Why does it seem like there is so much litigation in the 2020 presidential election? Well, according to the MIT Fair Elections Project, there is. There are over 300 lawsuits that have been filed across 44 states. What's going on there? Well, in order to understand, we need to look at this through the lens of median voter competition. And median voter competition is a mathematical way of looking at how parties behave in two-party competition. Here's how it works. In two-party competition, both candidates will try and compete for the middle or median voter. By definition, the winning candidate will be the one that can break the 50% barrier. We call that the median voter. What happens, however, when one of the candidates just happens to be unpopular? So what are the options for candidate B? Well, you can try and lose the median voter competition because you are just not as popular as candidate A, the other candidate in a two-party system. Or you could prevent, disqualify, or discourage voters for candidate A. By removing voters from the voting population by lawsuit or by voting restrictions, that has the effect of moving the median because fewer people are now eligible to vote and those have been targeted at supporters for candidate A, that establishes a new midpoint and therefore new median voter that is more accessible for candidate B. Another method of trying to influence the position of the median voter is by encouraging third parties to enter the race. And this will sometimes happen on a state-by-state -state basis where one party will try and convince a, a third party and to get on the ballot, or they might assist them in legal efforts to get on the ballot. Why? Well, with a third party that happens to occupy the same issue space, in this case as candidate A, candidate C would take some of their voters away, which again would change the winning margin. You no longer need a majority if you're candidate B, you can win with a plurality of the votes. And there, your 46% is, uh, again, can be a winning margin. We refer to this as vote splitting between candidate A and candidate C, who are both, to some extent, competing over the same voters. That is why we are seeing so many lawsuits in the 2020 presidential election.